Hey, welcome back to Tiny House and Off Grid Resources, the channel where we rebuild, repair, recycle, but not today. I have a selection of angle grinders that I use pretty much on a daily basis. The reason I've got so many angle grinders is so that I don't have the palaver of swapping the cutting disc for the grinding disc, for the sanding disc, for the cut off wheel which all takes time. I can just pick up whichever grinder I need from this handy bar and use it on the project that I'm involved in. Instead of having to hunt around and find the special spanners and then go to my drawer and pull out the thing that I need and fit it and then get started again, I can just pick one up, grind a little bit, pick the other one up, cut a little piece off, pick the one up with the buffer on, give it a polish, speeds things up immeasurably. Now, something happened the other day. Two days ago, the magic smoke fell out of this particular grinder. Uh, as with any electrical device, once the magic smoke has fallen out, they don't work anymore. I'll plug it in for just a moment and let you have a listen. Not happy. Oh, and you can't smell it, but it smells disgusting. So this one goes into the parts drawer, and I purchased online another brand new grinder, which I don't have to do very often, but um, I always buy decent quality. I have bought budget grinders from budget shops before, and yeah, they work for a little while, but honestly, in daily use, don't expect any more than a couple of months out of them. So, as I say, I splashed out and got myself a nice new grinder. So, that's going to sit here with all the others. But what I really wanted to show you was what I'm going to do with the box. Because, honestly, I'm not going to carefully wrap the cord up and wipe it clean and put it back in here with all of its accessories because quite frankly, this just takes up too much space. But it's a dedicated case that can't be used for anything else because it's vacuum formed to the shape. We're gonna do something about that. So I'm gonna be grabbing a pair of my nice refurbished safety glasses that you saw me do in the previous video. And we're gonna see if we can turn this case into something that's a little more useful. Once you've cut all the main parts, it's just a matter of getting a sturdy craft knife and getting into the corners and just releasing corners where you can't get with the cutting disc. You can do this all with a good quality knife, but hey, you've just bought a grinder, right? And there you have it my friends, it's as easy as that. Now I've got a lovely little case that can be used for carrying screws, nails, small tools, anything I like. And it's not dedicated to holding just one tool. In fact I've got a whole lot of these from where I've bought decent quality tools that come with their own case and I use them for any number of workshop jobs. All my small parts can be kept in these, my small tools can be kept in these. Dust free. Everything I need for one job in its place and ready for when I need it. Welcome to my wall of awful. This is a large cubby hole storage facility that I've got. Now one of the things that really annoys me is, for example, think, yeah, things like that really wind me up. So they are gonna come off the wall right now and get put in a box. And then that box can get slipped back on a shelf and I won't end up with all this coiled up, hanging on nails. 
worth keeping plugs and leads if you've got tools in your workshop that cut like skill saws angle grinders you're gonna end up cutting through a cord or at least damaging a cord at some stage this way i've always got cords ready but it's only once or twice a year that that happens they just get in the way but if i can get stuff off these nails and tidy the place up. It's gonna make the whole place just that little bit nicer to work in. For example, you can't see what's behind the camera, but I'm just gonna turn you around and give you a panning shot of the other wall. And you'll see what I'm faced with. I just have loads of stuff that one day might just come in useful. So, back to what we were doing. I'm going to put all of these into this case and we're going to end up closing the lid on it and putting it back on the shelf. putting it up here on the shelf oh that's where that went yeah okay as I was saying we're gonna put this up on the shelf and it can sit up here until I actually need some cords or plugs. Meanwhile, I've got plenty of access to everything else in my emporium.